Kai, Mom. you're back. Yeah. You must be tired. <laughs> Here, give me your bag. I'll help it's you. It's okay. Unpack. I can do it myself, huh? Come on. I, I just want to I can do it myself. Don't worry. Give me a hug. Hmm? All right, fine. Then go wash up. We'll have dinner soon, huh? Okay. Mr. Ma, how much commission did I earn? 1,500. What? Save for yourself. But how could it be that low? I'm not done yet. Check the bill yourself. Here, for the losses you caused at the canteen, deduct 2180. <coughs> for the laundry equipment you damaged, another <coughs> 300. So you still need to pay the company. Hey, how much? 980. As for the plates you broke, did you know they were all customized abroad and cost a lot? And one lobster costs a lot. The list goes on. So you mean that I work for nothing? What do you mean nothing, huh? You've gained experience. You've become a more experienced tour guide now. And that is priceless, right? Have a seat. <laughs> Can I at least get my deposit back? As long as you still work here, you cannot get that back. Just half of it? This is the company's rule. Each guide pays a deposit of how much? Ten grand. Ten thousand. Think about it. That's barely enough to cover any incidents. But I still need to pay my rent. I can't live on the street. Hey, aren't your parents in Shanghai? Why not stay with them? At least you still have your mom and dad. I don't even know where my parents are now. I grew up an orphan. I'm the truly poor one. You should feel sorry for me. Mr. Tan, Ann Chen from the American marketing team has come to report for duty. Morning, Mr. Tang. I'm so happy to join your team. Just sit. Why didn't you come home since you got back? We're at work right now, Dad. Hey, Annie. You've already worked at this company for four years. Your performance speaks for itself. You're a real treasure to the cruise industry. Well, that's clear. But I hope you'll move on sooner rather than later. You know my personality. It's very hard for me to give up after I've made my choice. You just said I'm excelling in this industry. Of course I shouldn't give up easily. You're a great role model for me. All right. Since you've made up your mind, I just need to warn you, sometimes things are more difficult than they may look. Accidents can happen any time in your career, just like the rescue in the storm this last voyage. That man, Chief Officer Ding Kai, saved someone's life. Obviously, that was heroic and admirable, but now he's facing an investigation for ignoring the captain's order to return. Hey, Dad, be honest. Are things really that bad for Ding Kai? <sighs> Do you know him?
Why are you here? Shh. Is your boss home now? Everyone's gone out. It's all over. Oh no. What happened, Mom? Hey, why are you crying? Don't cry. What happened? Did someone mistreat you? Don't cry, Mom. Just tell me what's wrong. The money is all gone. And what do you mean by that? <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. A few days ago, my boss had a client who said that P2P lending was very profitable with high interest. So on an impulse, I invested all of our family savings from the past few years. What? But the past few months, I've kept losing money. <laughs> Does Dad know about this? You can never tell him about this, okay? You know exactly what his temper is like. So if he knows that I lost all of our savings like this... Oh my God, he's going to kill me! All oh, right, all right. I know, Mom. How about this? If he asks, just say... Just say I took it. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, okay. But seriously... P2P lending? Why invest in that? It's all over the news, Mom. Most of those guys are raising funds illegally. Enough! What's the point of saying this now? Why not tell me before? You didn't ask me. You're never around. You're either busy preparing for some certificate exam or changing your job. I wouldn't dare bother you. <sighs> Tinya, it seems your new job is very good. And you've even traveled abroad. The salary must be good, right? It's okay. What brings you here today? No reason. Come on, Mom. I just missed you. So I came to see you. What should I do now? Revenge? Why are you here? Uh... Hey, listen. I was completely honest with Mr. Ma about everything you did. You got detained, broke some things, and ruined a show. Those are just the facts. I have no personal vendetta against you, okay? I mean, if Mr. Ma wanted you gone, what I told him wouldn't matter. You're fresh out of college and don't know how complicated the real world is, okay? If Mr. Ma couldn't keep you on, then that's his decision. You can't blame me for what happened. So you ratted me out. Hey, hey, don't close the door. Explain why you did that. Open up now. I spoke too soon. That mouth of mine. What did you tell on me? I have no place to stay right now. And in truth, I was homeless before boarding the ship. See, my mom is a live-in nanny, and my dad's staying at his work dorm. 
Plus, I still owe our company over 900 yen. I can't even afford a shared room. So can I please crash at your place just for a short while? Your sofa, the floor, your rug. I can squeeze into any corner. I won't take up too much space. And I can do chores, laundry, cooking, cleaning. I will do anything. So please. Come in. Thank you, Hosei. You gotta stay here. It won't be too long. I'll move out as soon as I have some money. But I need a bit of time. Uh, I promise, not too long. Hmm? All right. I'll let you stay here for a while. But you have to pay rent another way, okay? Listen up. Starting tomorrow, you'll have to clean this whole place. <laughs> need and tidy, spick and span. And run my errand. At your service, on call 24-7. And cook for me. Three meals a day and different foods. I like your attitude. I won't charge you rent then. Thank you. Why did I agree to this? Going down? Lobby, please. Thank you. Oh. Can I help you? Uh. Hey. You need my help? Uh, it's fine. I can get it. Thanks for your coat. You must be Jinkai, the chief officer of Dreamland. I'm from marketing, and Chen. You're the one who stood up for me at headquarters. Aisen told me about you. Thank you. So we sort of know each other? Seems so. That needs renovations. Your Uncle Drew must have made you a lot of delicious food. Here. Uncle Drew. Oh, Joe. you're back. We're back. <laughs> hey, how are you? You doing all right? <laughs> we have some guests barbecuing in the backyard. Please go help me entertain them. Okay, I'll have a look. Go okay. ahead. We have a lot of guests. Several seafarers. All right, I have work to do. Go coming, on, I'll coming. check them out. Go ahead. Okay. You have to try the crab and corn I grilled. Ice? Fair. What are they doing here? Excuse me. Hey, Mom. Yeah, son? I forgot something. Oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> are you enjoying yourselves? Mm, everything is great here. <laughs> Wonderful. I'm the boss of this hotel. How is it? Do you guys like the food here? Mmm, mm, it's delicious. Good. If they still recognize me this way, inevitable I heard you guys are seafarers mm. isn't it a dangerous job 
Ah, it's really quite safe. It's no different from working on land, actually. Besides, our ship is the safest in the entire world. With three intelligent control systems, our ship will never sink. Really? <laughs> it's true. Dreamland of the ocean is really unsinkable. Uh, they said the same thing about the Titanic. That sank because of human error. Our crew is the best. Don't worry. Mm. <laughs> but isn't your family worried about you doing this job? No, not worried. They work there with me. Both my mom and dad have been working on the ship forever. My dad was a sous chef and is now the head chef. My mom's a floor supervisor. In fact, we had made our home on the sea. Mm. Oh, well, no matter what, just be extra careful. Floating on the sea is different from having your feet on the ground. I would never let my son enter this industry. <laughs> oh, come on. Uncle Du, can I help hey. you? Let me serve the dishes. Okay, Ding Kai. Go ahead then. Sure, thanks. Come on, listen, ma'am. Don't worry. You know what? When you're free, just come hang out on our ship. Hey! Yeah. It's you guys. Long time no hey, see. Ding Kai. Ding Kai. Welcome. You're here. Welcome to our hostel. Here, uh. here. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> hey, son. How do you know all of them? Hey, Ding Kai is hey, the. Uh... I'll explain later. What? Right, I... Hey, Dinkai. Oh, welcome, welcome. You even brought a gift. Why are you Come, here sit now? down. Mom, let me introduce them. All of them are my clients, my very important clients. They contributed a lot to my work. Actually, I wanted to invite you all here, but then you came on your own. What? <laughs> when did we become your clients? Didn't you help me with that order last week? I wanted to treat you to dinner. So look, since you're here already, this meal is on me. <laughs> what? Hey. Hey, son. Yeah? When did your company start focusing on ships? Oh, you see, our company is actually a contractor for the entire cruise system. So each and every person at this table is very important. I can't offend them. <laughs> Help yourselves, guys. Please enjoy. Hey, Dinkai, maybe you can give us some more dishes? No problem. This meal is on me. Awesome! Wow! So my mom and <laughs> right. I will go prepare more dishes for you guys. Uh, yeah, All right? right. Yeah, okay, right. thank, thank you. you. It's so hospitable. What a small world. Oh, yeah, right? we've actually been friends for years. Aysen, how did you find this place? I saw it on your computer the other day. Hey, Dinkai, why did shh, you. Shh, shh, shh. Keep your voice down. Oh. Don't let my mom hear us. Hey, Dinkai. Why are you keeping it from your mom that you work as a seaman? <laughs> a secret. Dinkai! Once you go in there, don't be nervous. Remember carefully what happened at that time. Don't miss any important details. <laughs> What's so funny? Why are you even more nervous than me? Are you nervous? I am. Then don't laugh at me. I just don't want to spread my negative feelings. I'm wondering, did you see what happened that stormy day? Yet you're still here supporting me. That means you believe me. Thank you. What's this? Since I joined the Royal Cruises, you were the first Chinese friend I made before I met you in person. Good luck, my friend.
The hearing officially begins now. This here is Investigator Wong Ziyong from Miami. Hello. I'm Wong Ziyang, the presiding judge of today's hearing. I review the case of the rescue mission and ask you about some details. Dinghai, do you ever drink? No, I never drink. Not even a sip? Not at all. Do you suffer from insomnia? I sleep well every day. So you never needed to use sedatives or sleeping pills at night? Unless following doctor's orders, I wouldn't touch them. Very well. The week before last, on the way to Jensina, the ship was hit by a storm. We've all seen the video of you rescuing those people. Your gallant act is worth praising. Can you tell me, after you saved the child and we lost the video, what did you do in those 20 minutes? The captain of the cargo ship had been hit by a crate and passed out. So I quickly took off my jacket, grabbed an oxygen tank, and dived in. Okay. The captain let you and Eisen conduct a final search. Yes. We were searching the area nearby for any survivors. So did you hear the captain's second order? I did. Due to the weather, the ship has to leave first. When you finish your rescue, Follow us immediately. Over. Property. Dinkai. I must remind you, as a cruise ship crewman, it is your responsibility to protect the lives and property of everyone on board. So you must strictly follow the captain's orders instead of acting on your own. So I need to know what happened exactly in those 20 minutes. Can you please explain yourself? I believe I've already explained what happened. As I said, the captain was hit by a drifting crate at the time. Did you hear the captain's order to urgently return to the ship? I only heard him order us to finish the search immediately. He asked you to return immediately. Lifeboat, get back here immediately. Over. I'm sorry. I never heard that order. How about we all take a short recess for 10 minutes? Think I, you can think more about what happened that day. Captain. Dinkai. The situation looks bad for you now. Prepare yourself. Mentally. I know there's nothing I can say now. I don't have any proof that I really didn't hear your order. But I do hope you can trust me. And my devotion to the profession. There's no way I'd ignore. 
Your order and put everyone's life at risk. Even if I believe you, they only believe in the facts and the evidence. Let's continue and listen to the witnesses. The wind was very strong. The child was terrified, and so were we. Officer Ding jumped into the sea and loosened the wires around his wrists. <sighs> Asking for his father. Daddy. Our captain was floating in the sea when suddenly something hit him. Then he passed out and started sinking. We could do nothing but watch him disappear into the sea. So that means after the child was saved, his father began to sink as the cruise ship was through to safer waters. Then the video cut out. Almost at the same time, the captain gave the order to return immediately. After this incident, headquarters thought something was on. So Jane and I were sent to St. Ness right away to talk with the survivors from the storm. Please look. Did you hear the cruise ship captain's second order to return right away? I did. I did. I did. Yes, I did. Everyone there except the crying child clearly stated that they heard the captain's order to return immediately. Now let's welcome the second officer who was also present, Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, please come to the stand. Hello. Hello. I'm the I'm second the officer, officer Morgan. Morgan. I participated in the rescue that day. At the time, did you hear the captain's order to return immediately? I did. How many orders in total? Three orders. Then could you tell us what you were doing, respectively, during each order? The first order, we were still searching the sea for any signs of survivors. Do your final check and evacuate immediately. Copy that. The second orders, we saw the child and started to rescue him. Dinkai jumped in. Due to the weather, the ship has to leave first. Once you finish your rescue, follow us immediately. Over. Yes, Captain. Copy that. And the last order, we were about to return. But Dinkai was still outside of the boat. And how far away from the boat was Dinkai? He was right next to the door. Where was the walkie-talkie at the time? It was on its holder the whole time. When the order came out of the talkie, what were you doing? And also, what was Dinkai doing? Dinkai was climbing out of the boat, and I was about to tell Isaac we had to return. But Dinkai put on an oxygen tank and was ready to jump into the sea. I went over and grabbed him before he left the boat. I said our captain had ordered us all to return immediately. So you're saying that after you told him the captain's order, he still did what he wanted to and dived right in? Yes. Thank you for your testimony. You may go back to your seat. Right now, let's welcome our second witness, Eisen. Eisen, please come to the stand. At the time, how many orders did you hear the captain give? Three orders. The first time I was checking the sea with Dinkai. The second time, I was helping him save the young child. Little boy, grab this! I'm scared! Grab it! The third order. After I received the order, I started to get the boat ready to quickly return. So, when you were preparing to bring the boat back to the ship, was Dinkai on board then? Yes. I saw him climbing onto the boat. So you mean, only after Dinkai was on board, he started preparing. Yes, but then, when I turned around again, he had already put on an oxygen tank. Dinkai! Then he jumped into the sea. Did you try to stop him? 
I did try, but he was too far away. Right. Thank you for your testimony. You may go back. I really wasn't able to stop him. The second officer Morgan wasn't able to either. Dinkai! Dinkai! Second officer Morgan tried to grab him, but before he could get close enough to him, Dinkai had already jumped into the sea. Before we realized what had happened and shouted at him, he had already disappeared into the water. So you're saying you don't agree with Mr. Morgan's statement just now? Right. Morgan failed to grab onto Dinkai. Very well. Thank you. Please return to your seat. At the moment, besides a crying underage child, everyone else on the lifeboat heard the captain's order to return loud and clear. Dinkai, why did you not hear that order? I don't know. But I really didn't hear the captain's final order that day. Is your hearing all right? Of course it is. Please look at the screen. This picture shows everyone's position and also their walkie-talkies. We've used the computer to consider every possibility. You could hear it. If you really couldn't hear it, there must be something wrong here. Either you are lying, or you deliberately ignored that order and put the lives of everyone on the cruise ship and the lifeboat at risk. I will say it again. I really didn't hear it. What do you think about your case? I don't know. What if the outcome isn't good? I don't think they have any reason to keep setting me up. But it's true you didn't follow the captain's order. You don't believe me. What I think doesn't matter. It does. Even if you believe me for just one second, it really means a lot. Come on. I believe you. Thank you. Defying orders? He saved a life for goodness sake. If not for Dinkai, that captain would have died at sea. He saved so many people. Dinkai's a hero. How could they accuse him like that? I guess it's really hard for them to tell whether he's a hero or not playing the hero. Well, I'm to blame as well. I didn't stop him in time. I was too far away from him. It's not your fault, but... I really didn't expect headquarters to hold a hearing about this matter. If Ding Kai can't explain himself properly, then his career will really suffer. This is bad. On the ship, rules are rules. As his friend, I totally believe him. But for a seaman to disobey orders? That's unforgivable. This time he... That man, Chief Officer Dinkai, saved someone's life. Obviously, that was heroic and admirable, but now he's facing an investigation for ignoring the captain's orders to return. Hello, Professor Lin. This is Anne Chen. I'm sorry to bother you, but I know you're the best acoustic expert in China, and I really need your help with something important. Thanks. I'll email it to you. Mm-hmm. Let's begin. The captain of the cargo ship had just been hit in the head by a floating crate. 
To keep him from being swept away by the waves, he had tied his wrist to the ship with some wires. But it was tied so tightly that the heavy metal dragged him all the way down. I swam to him with the oxygen tank and tried my best to move quickly to untie him. But the metal was pulling him down too quickly. I had no choice but to release some oxygen from the tank to increase the buoyancy and slow down the rate with which we were sinking. Finally, I managed to save him. Dinkai, may I remind you, as a cruise ship crewman, it is your responsibility to protect the lives and property of everyone on board. Didn't you hear the captain's order for your immediate return? I only heard him say a new typhoon was coming and we must the quicken our search. Like I said, the captain had already child, told us we must return immediately. Heard the captain's order to return loud and clear. When the captain gave us first order to return, did you hear that? I you did. I, did. The lives of yes. I will say it again. I really didn't hear it. Risk. Captain, Mr. Tong. The hearing will begin right now. For over 10 days, our team has focused on what happened during the rescue, specifically the 20 minutes we lost footage and have Dinkai defied orders during that time. Our investigation team has been trying by all means to gather information and rule out irrelevant information in order to prove Dinkai's testimony. But now, I have acquired a new piece of info that I hope Dinkai can explain. We lost the half the night. This is pretty bad for us. Dinkai, can you tell us something about your family? Okay. How big is your family? There are three people in my family, including me my mother, and my stepfather. And what about your birth father? What's he hiding? What's with his birth father? I have no idea. I think the odds are against him. His career is over. Dinkai, why hide the fact that your birth father died in a shipwreck? I think Dinkai is suffering from PTSD after his father's accident. So for the safety of the ship, I suggest he take a psychological test to find out if he really does have PTSD. Hold on, please. I barged in because I have something to say. I'm a witness to the rescue. That day, I was on the helicopter and saw something that seemed really strange to me. So I consulted the most famous acoustic expert in China. We'll get the results back later today, and I want to present it to everyone here. Are you saying that we can see the results back today? That's right. Shall we 
像夜在某个人潮汹涌孤单的路口，像是雨一片天，像是在蔚蓝海洋中，生活的另一面，梦想的事发现，不经意的转弯，终点又回到起点。旧村是一个同心的圆，从彼岸到此间，最美的少年。每一次停靠，都是为了下一个起点；每一次启程，拥抱着。每一次看完，看完家灯火，人间团圆；每一次起航，追逐永不消失的地平线。移动的海岸线，从天边到眼前，生命的延长线，不再那么遥远。善良的夏天。